Hey guys, what's going on? Troy at Mountain Man Treasure here, and guess what? I'm in a viewer's garage. Mountain Man. Mountain Man. Treasures. Welcome into the channel, guys. My name is Troy. I'm a part-time reseller based out of Montana, and a viewer of the channel, Gwen, contacted me and said, hey, I think I've got some stuff that uh, you might be interested in. She was wanting to clear out some of her old collection and said, uh, come on over and, and look at the stuff. Uh, you know, she was just going to, you know, take it and donate it and thought, you know what, maybe I'd like to look through it and uh, maybe I'd like to put it in my store instead. So she's laid stuff out on the tables here. Let's take a look at it. So Gwen's sister actually found me first. She's in Las Vegas now, uh, but said, hey, I think this guy is where you are. And it turns out that's true. I met them, and we're going to talk about that here in a little bit. Um, just a, a lot of cool stuff here. Uh, complete, you know, all kinds of different stuff, which is what I like. Here we've got new kids on the block. Donnie, still new in the package. I, 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 got, I got to do comps on all of this stuff. I, I wasn't exactly sure what we were going to be looking at here, but I think Donnie's pretty good. I would guess uh, 20 25 bucks. For Donnie, something like that. I don't know anything about the limited edition Van White. There's two of them. They're really cool. Um, I don't know what the market is for those, so I'll have to check. Uh, I maybe 10, 15 bucks a piece. I I, I don't really know. Um, over here, let's keep with the dolls. There's some older dolls here that I'll have to look up. I, I don't do well with loose dolls. I'm still learning them. Hawaiian Fun Barbie, we've sold her before. Not super high dollar, but she does sell um, pretty well. This one, the world's pedal doll. I don't know about her, so we'll have to look her up. Here we've got uh, different plushes, a McDonald's plush. Gwen said uh, she's got lots of different McDonald's stuff. So this is uh, Fozzie Bear. He's, he's my favorite of the Muppets, I think. I love the Waka Waka Waka. So we got him. Here's the Taco Bell dog. And this piggy. We got Christmas Kermit, so that's the right time for, for Kermit. You know, I don't know what the value of these are. Certainly there is some. Um, Ike. Oh, he's got a Purina tag. That's pretty cool. Arctic Circle. I remember that from uh, our days in... Oregon. So we got an Arctic Circle bunny. Pipes of the Caribbean. Is it Caribbean or Caribbean? You guys tell me. I've actually got the boy version of the raisin at home. He's listed, actually. These are probably pretty good. These little Barbie accessories, still new in the package. You can see they're buck forty-five at Buttery. That I don't know if Buttery is still around anymore, even. Um cards are in very nice shape so that's going to help certainly see there's some of the barbie accessories i wouldn't be surprised if these are 15 or 20 dollars a piece there's the the hair dryer and uh what is this one? Oh, this is a, a record player really cool apparently it moves i got some loose like happy meal type toys here I think that's, is that Little People, maybe? Dino, Barney, you know, just different stuff there. Nice hodgepodge. I like that. Some more hodgepodge stuff. Soap dish. That's awesome. The A&W Bear. That's pretty neat. There's an old Mickey. He's a... A porcelain. There's no date on him, but it's clearly older. So, pretty neat. Magic Troll Babies. I don't know anything about these, but that thing is cool. Uh, she's got different uh, crayon stuff still sealed. Vintage crayon stuff can, can do well. So, that's really cool. We got some movies here as well. Christmas Story. I can't stand that movie. I don't know why. I know I should like it, but I just... I just don't like it. Great courses. Uh, I've sold them new. I don't know if I've ever sold, I might've sold one or two loose, um, but great courses is what it's called right there. The great courses, they do well. New, they'll go for 20 or 25 bucks, usually, depending on the course. So there's a couple of new ones here. Uh, 
table number two. And this is what surprised me. Um, these, these are absolutely a bolo, guys. I've never found one. Um, and so I, I, I got to dig into it. The nice thing is she's got the box. I mean, it's a beautiful thing. So then I know the brand. I know uh, how tall it is, you know, that sort of stuff. So I'll be able to look this up. This will sell as soon as I list it, especially right now. Um, I just don't know exactly the value of it. I know it's very good. Um, we got a little drone here. Quadcopter drone. I think this is just a basic one here, but still... A cool little piece. Got a dash cam. You can put in uh, face outside. So, not sure on the value on that. These are neat. They are uh, Montana postcards, but they're, it's a puzzle from 1990. And still all of them new. That looks like the plastic's coming off, just the glue, but still new in plastic. That'd be a quantity listing, which is cool. The Unabomber, if you guys don't know, the Unabomber is from uh, Montana. It's actually near here, Lincoln. Uh, a couple of videos ago when we went up to Lincoln and showed you the sculpture in the in the woods, that's the, the Unabomber was up right in that very area where his cabin was. So really cool. Turner Classic Movies shirt as well. Andy Astronaut. This is a cool book. Actually signed. So that's cool. These are just really neat. I love these older books. We got Beanie Babies. Now these, uh, these do sell, um, but they don't sell for the crazy numbers that people seem to think they do. Okay, so don't get caught in the Beanie Baby thing. You're not going to retire on Beanie Babies. You might have for a very short time when they first came out. But uh, now, th that, that is not the case. Though, so if, if you sell locally, they'll sell. Um, or if, if you pair these up, you know, all, all of these together, um, I'd have to look. You might get 20 bucks. So they will sell, just not for the crazy amounts that you see. Gwen just stopped in to check on me. Um, <laughs> I'm almost through going through. She's sneaking away. She doesn't want to be on camera. Um, so finishing up, going around the horn here, here's another... Um, this is a Tin Man from uh, Madame Alexander from the Hat McDonald's. Some cool Coleman stuff. I don't know anything about these. I, I do well with Coleman stuff. This is a little box. There's an LED keychain, cooler, lantern. You know, I, I have no idea what these are, are worth, but they're really neat. I got to think they're at least worth the original Walmart price, right, of, of, of five bucks. Some more um, TY from McDonald's. Um, and these will do okay. Some of the current ones I've sold, we, uh, you know, five bucks or something like that. I'd have to look. These probably you would, you see numbers on here? There's 12, there's 11, uh, uh, 10, 9. I bet that she's got the full set. So you'd have to put this probably as a full set and you could probably get something off of that. I don't know what shoes these are. Um, they're just little, little shoes. Uh, apparently fashions for your fingers that you're supposed to put them on your fingers. I don't know anything about them, but they're cool. Uh, we've got our Furby back here. You guys, Furby's another eBay bolo. They sell very, very well. Even if they're not working, they will sell for parts or repair. People actually customize these things. There's videos on YouTube of how to skin a Furby. Go, go look it up. I promise you that they will make their own version. So even broken ones will sell. Um, these little Cabbage Patch Kids, these are, these will sell. They're not super, super valuable, but, uh, five or 10 bucks, maybe, I think. Um, oh my goodness, there's so much stuff here. Um, with little pewter figures, which are pretty cool. Well, that one, you can see the bottom. That's Spooniques, I guess, maybe, but they're very cool. I do well with Wizards and Dragons. Old corn cob looking pipes. Here we go, Randy Travis. We got the Randy Travis autograph on that one. And uh, I think Gwen had said she's a member of the uh, the Randy Travis fan club, or was back in the day. And so uh, she's got some Randy Travis stuff. And then we've got a signed 
Let's see if this is signed. We'll put it in the sun here. I can't tell if that's signed or if that's a reproduction. I'll have to look closer at home, but of the bushes. And then we got some of these. Some of these. This guy is cool. I mean, I'd have to keep one of them, right? <laughs> She's got two of them here. Santa's workshop. Santa's going, uh, going looking for his post-Christmas dinner. And we've got a giant rhinoceros. This from a banana. Gwen told me she actually used to collect Banana Republic stuff, which I think is awesome. And this is still new. You Look, you fold this thing out, and it's a box that folds into a rhinoceros. I, I, I don't know what the value is past it being awesome, but there's got to, you know, it, there's got to be something. I think it's incredible. Here's all the stuff. Um, more than kind of I expected. We never did look at these books. Adventures of Mr. Mocker. Yeah, these are neat. Tiki Tiki Tembo. Yeah, really cool. So you just want the space back. I would love the space <laughs> back, yeah. Because I have more things to pull out, but I, I can't until I get rid of this. Like sure. More. So you're going to have me back over to get more stuff. I am. <laughs> I am. Well, you know that makes it hard for me. You know I don't like throwing out the first number. Real? Um, especially, especially when, you know, you've been so kind to have me over and look at the stuff. and Just interested in one portion? Yeah, well, I mean, I, I there is some stuff that I like more than others, but I know how much you want to get, get the whole rid. thing. So yeah. I wouldn't mind just doing the whole thing because I, I, I know that's what you want is to clear mm -hmm. it out. I do. So um, I'm, I, I'm okay with doing that. And even if it's, you know... Smaller stuff that winds up, you know, hey, this doesn't work for me. I can, I can donate it or, you know, right. do whatever. Right. I just was proud to keep it and hang on to yeah. it, you know. Um, but I've looked at it over the years and I've taken it out and tried to figure out what to do with it. Put it all back and I've had it stored in trunks and stuff. And I just think this is the time to move on because I okay. want to do other things. So. And this is, yeah, that's so neat. It is such a neat piece. So I, I'm saying I have zero idea what it, the value is. I know. But it's, it's incredible. It is incredible. It's just neat. Um, I've had it for probably 30 years. Uh, I actually bought several and put some together and gave it to kids with gifts in it for Christmas. Okay. And they're so fun to see under the tree. Yeah. Because it, it looks, you know, I mean, you can imagine how it comes together and... Then the box is where the gift goes. It's just crazy. That's so neat. But well, and the one the one real wild card for me, Gwen, is is the um, is the tree because I know they're 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 valuable and they they sell very very well. But I've never found one before, and so I don't know exactly where. And I know there's all the there's differences based on how many branches and. Mm -hmm. um, some of them have like, pom I think they're called pom-poms or palms or something on the end of the branches. There's all these variations and that yeah. all impacts how much it's worth. Sure, sure. And and I just don't know yet. Yeah. I know we put it together, um, but it's been stored. Sure, yeah. sure. So here's what I'm wondering, Gwen. What if we did, you know, if, if I throw out, um, knowing that I, that tree will sell, I just don't know right now what it's worth. And I, I want to give you fair value for it. Mm -hmm. um, so what if, would you do 200 right now? And then I'll, I'll do more research. And if, if that's worth more, then I will, I, I will get you more. You Cause I want to, I might, that, that um, honestly is, I, I think that's the most valuable thing here. Yeah. And I, I just want to treat you fairly. I don't want to yeah. no, make that. you feel like I ripped you off on that. I, Okay. Yep. Yep. And I, I, I think it's probably worth worth a bit more, and if, especially if you're having me back out. I, mm -hmm. I can get you more based on whatever I find out on that. We'll be friends. Okay. <laughs> okay. Does that work for you? Yeah, it does. It okay. Does, absolutely. All right. So now it is. Uh, it's a couple days later. I still got a whole bunch of stuff in the back of my car here, 
but I have had a chance to go through some of the stuff from Gwen's and I've got some of it listed. Some of it turns out it, it's not really worth listing, you know, some of the small stuff. So I'm hanging on that, maybe lot it up or uh, we'll see maybe something local. I'm actually driving right now to go meet a guy to uh, sell him this little guy. Uh, paid $5 for it at a garage sale. Doesn't really sell for that much online heavy kind of a pain to ship so i put it online on uh, facebook and had it up for 15 uh, guy says would you take 10 i said let's split it in the middle ish we'll do 12 you know i mean i five bucks and a 12 bucks it's not a huge sale but he he works just a little bit uh, down the road so it's a very easy quick sale so that's not a bad deal if you find something like that that you get home and you go you know what this doesn't actually sell that well on ebay see if maybe you can put it online double your money you know, it, it's not a bad idea. Anyway, got some cool stuff from Gwen. Really excited to uh, to be going through that. And uh, she's going to have me back and pick up more stuff. And uh, Gwen, you're going to be getting a little bit extra money when I come back because uh, that Christmas tree, it's one of the good ones. Uh, now, if you can find like a colored one, like there's a pink one, I think recently went for over $1,000. It was like a short one. It's like two feet tall. Um, but this one with the box, uh, there's one actually, as I'm looking uh, at eBay right now, there's actually one at auction, the exact same one. And it's got uh, one bid for, I think it's about 500 bucks. So, but some have gone for like 300. So it just really, it depends on when you hit the market and if somebody really wants it at that time so there is a little bit of a variance but i think we should get at least 300 dollars for that so I'm, I'm very excited about that one of course you have to pay the fees you pay the taxes all that but still it's going to be a, a a real nice sale and somebody's going to be able to add that to their christmas collection which is neat so uh, we'll be back at gwen's we'll be buying more stuff and uh, we'll throw a little bonus on top for her next time because uh, that tree is definitely a little bit better than what I thought it was. But, uh, you know, not a lot of comps to drop on this one for you guys. Just wanted to walk it through a little bit, uh, almost like an unboxing for this one and wanted to show you what I picked up. And Gwen, thanks so much for having me out. It was super cool to uh, to meet you. I'd already met uh, your mom and a couple of her sisters. When I get back uh, actually uh, to the mountain, I'm going to show you, we've got something to give away. Let's fast forward. I'll show you what it is. Yeah, creepy Santa. I know. I said something about a giveaway. I got to get him listed. He's still back there. Uh, I mentioned that I met Gwen, her, her mom, a couple of her sisters at a uh, like a craft show type thing here in town. And when I stopped by, they've got some cool stuff at their booth. And so I picked up a couple of things and we're going to give them away to a viewer. So made by viewers and now I'm going to send them out to a viewer. All you have to do to win this, comment down below. I'll randomly select one of those. Uh, Sunday night is when we're going to run that random comment selector. And then I'll announce it uh, probably on Monday, on, on Monday's video. So uh, when I got this first thing here, let me get it out of the bag. This actually made by Gwen a, a little gift bag. And so uh, Mountain Kid helped pick these out. So... Here's this one, and it's got a little drawstring here. Really cool. So we thought it looked Montana, right? And what it's going to match up with is this made by one of her sisters, these little snowmen. This is the cutest, coolest thing ever. So it's it's got a little Montana tag around its neck, and he's got a scarf. He's got a little handmade beanie there. How cool is this? This is really, really neat. So if somebody wants a uh, a Christmas item, along with a uh, cool little gift bag that you can use for whatever, you know, stocking stuffer or whatever. I think he'll actually fit in there. I'm going to ship him inside of this. Again, all you have to do is comment down below and we'll randomly select one of you to win this. We're going to do that uh, in random giveaways as we work our way towards 10,000 subscribers. We're actually up to uh, 9,800, just over 9,800 now, which is awesome. So we're almost there, hoping to get there by Christmas. So we'll see. Uh, just as a quick update on uh, the family that we've adopted for Christmas, you guys are so incredibly generous. We've had a lot of you sending money in through PayPal, um, keeping a ledger. A, a lot of that money that's come in has already gone out. And uh, I'm making purchases. We're buying things for this family. We're going to blow them away for Christmas. It's going to be incredible. They're going to be uh, they're going to be shocked 
at what is under their tree this Christmas. And I'm so, so excited. We've got people sending in stuff. If you're curious, I did put the list on the community tab of uh, of the YouTube page so you can get on and you can check out sizes and the d different things they like and that sort of thing. If you want some more information, just contact me, Instagram or on email, see you if we need anything or what we're looking for, that sort of thing. Uh, this is really neat and I'm really excited. I'm so blessed and humbled and uh, it touched that this is such a fantastic community and so many people just immediately jumped on board to uh, to help out this little family so thank you thank you thank you for doing that we're going to continue uh, to gather stuff over the next couple of weeks here and then uh, I I'm not going to get to rapping I'm going to let Mountain Mama rap those because she's really good I cover it up she makes it look pretty so we're, we're going to assign her the rapping duties and uh yeah so that's what I got for you today, guys. I appreciate it. We're going to cut this thing off. I actually got to go pick up Mountain Kid from school and look at a potential Facebook Marketplace deal. So we'll let you know if that turns out what we picked up there. But until that time, we'll see you next time. Bye.